Listen, come on! Listen to me, damn it! Don't listen to me! Let's celebrate. What are we celebrating? Our last mission. I've heard that before. This is the one. By the end of the day, all of us are going to be fucking rich, but mostly you and me. It's another wreck. It's not just any wreck. The UNN Urshinabi. Dropped off the map less than a week ago. No distress call. Those UNN pricks never come out this far unless they're carrying something special. Aren't you one of those UNN pricks? <laughs> Easy. If I'm still one of those UNN pricks, then you're still an OPA traitor with Anderson Dawes' bounty on your head. But... The past is the past. The past is the past. Why didn't you take it? The bounty. I knew you were worth more. Anybody who could piss off someone that dangerous must be pretty fucking valuable. Don't make the same mistake he did. I work for you, but you don't own me. <laughs> Believe me, I'm well aware. Just want to make sure you're not having second thoughts about our deal. No, come on. We're equal partners. We pay the crew, the costs, and the overhead. The rest is 50-50. You and me. We've got a good thing going here. Nobody fucks with you, which means nobody fucks with me. And hell, if this score is what I think it could be, you've got the deal of the century. Now drink. I'll toast you when I've got my fortune. Suit yourself. I'll keep a waiting for when you return. Time to rally the crew for Cox's latest, last mission. I should start by briefing Khan. Khan, new orders from the captain. I know. He already sent me the coordinates. Captain thinks that this could be- Last score we'll ever need. All of a century. I got the pep talk from him. What's our ETA? It depends. On what? On how long you plan to waste my time. Oh dear. I made the lackey upset. Forgive me. Fashing Bong, you will bet. I'll break through to you eventually. You want to braid somebody's hair? Go find Maya. I'm busy. We're nearly there. The debris field is massive. It'll take me a minute to navigate. 
Somebody blew that ship to hell and back. I should check the command console for more information on the Oshinabi. She's been chewing on that same cigar for weeks. As the XO, it's my job to make sure the ship and his crew are in order. I keep a log on the ship and on our scavenge missions. Time to find the rest of the crew. Ship's diagnostics always come back good. The Artemis isn't much to look at, but she's built to last. Maya has a plan for this meditation session. She's going to bring her makeup kit and wait until Virgil gets into a deep trance, then go to town on him. I may have to watch. Virgil. Virgil! Exo drummer. <clears throat> Usually medics only know enough to plug that thing in and rig up the morphine dispenser. Well, I took a course in autodoc repair during my residency. Useful for work outside the medical system. It's been giving me abnormal readings since series, but I finally know why. The laser crystal's badly occluded. That sounds serious. Can we replace it? We can, and should. Normally I wouldn't recommend it. I could always open people up the old-fashioned way. But the twins get into more mishaps than a normal crew. A high-quality gem would ensure that I'm ready for their next disaster. I assume you didn't come here to talk about crystals. We have a new target. What is it this time, El Dorado? The Fountain of Youth? Let me guess. The Falcon Horde of Venus? <laughs> the UNN Urshanabi. Cap believes there's something valuable on board. Something special. Do we want to invite that kind of attention? We'll be fine. In and out. No games. I'll monitor any data you send back. And I'll be here to patch anyone up, should it come to that. When Cox recruited me, a big selling point was the med bay and the medic. Not something you see on most scavenging ships. Should I be concerned that our medic thinks we need this many prosthetics? Does he know something I don't? Where do I look for a replacement crystal? Aside from medical, high-end navigation or communication systems use them as well. I wonder what angry pilot could have written this. 
What's your excuse this time? You not get enough sleep? You need some aqua caca, huh? Ow! Just let me go! It just fell, okay? Well, I tell you! Tinsha, you stupid prick! Quit fucking up! Hey! Boss man! Make him stop! Shut it, Okaka! Carry on. I'm enjoying the show. See, Pashanwala? Even Exo agrees. Okay, okay. For the good, brother. <laughs> we got a job, Baradnas. Listen up. Nah, fuck that. I'm tired of rooting around in the dumpster for that Inya. Cox promised us a real payday. He said, give me three months and you never have to work again. He said, he said, this the next job. And he the boss man. <sighs> Just like series. Bossing everyone around, only this time no dolls to keep you on the leash, yeah? This isn't series. On the ship, I'm the EXO. Shit. I was only fucking with you, Copain. Come on, Baratna. So far, none of the biomass that's gone through this recycler has been a crew member. I consider that a win. Nothing like fresh herbs and spices to go with dry kibble. Arlen is right that Rayan can't keep his shit from breaking. It only makes my job harder. Fruit in the belt is never fancy. But my stomach still turns when I look at this mush. ETA, five minutes, drummer. Will do, boss man. Headed back to my room to suit up now. I got a lot closer to a captain's chair than I would have expected. And a lot further away from anything else. token of my childhood on series. Each time it gets another crack, it reminds me of that shit heap even more. Those gave me everything. A job, a purpose, a community. Even with everything he's done to me, I would never turn Dos into UN enforcers. Took every yen I had to get off series without Dos or Star Helix noticing. Never had time for dating on series. Now I've got plenty of time and no one to date. Where are you going to go, Kamina? Huh? Anywhere but here. With anyone but you. <laughs> Hate me all you want. You are many things, Beltaloda, but you are not a traitor. You love your belt, and right now, belt is me. I'm busy. You're late. Quit tinkering and get your helmet. We're about to push off. Fucking make me. <laughs> Typical Martian. 
with a mouth that only knows how to kiss ass and spew caca. <laughs> I already beat Arlen's ass today. Guess Virgil can handle one more patient. I should put you in the brig for this. You'd have to catch me first. Cutting thrust. Prepare to enter float in three, two... <laughs> uh. Come on. Let me hear it. You got me. <laughs> Fuck yes. Finally! <laughs> you were kicking my ass for a minute. I thought you had me again. That was a good move. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a cheap shot, though. If it was a cheap shot, I would have smashed your brittle belter bones against the ceiling. <laughs> Don't believe everything they taught you in the Martian Navy. My bones are just as strong as yours. I didn't believe a single thing they taught me at that fascist brainwash factory. That's why I'm here with you brittle bitches. Arlen and Rayan have begun breaching the airlock off the bridge. Once we're in, we are Holy going Holy shit! Io! Usually Io is covered up by these dust streams that fire off from its poles after volcanic activity. But it's clear as day. It looks like any other moon. Pale and lumpy. Don't you talk about her like that. She's a beautiful volcanic goddess. <laughs> I usually only look for what could kill me out here. But it's nice getting to see it through your eyes. Even if they're the eyes of an inner who doesn't know her ass from her oxygen bulb. You mean an inner who pile-drived your ass into a ceiling, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's head out. Just remember to- Woohoo! <sighs> As I was saying, remember to keep your weight back when you land. Still, not bad for an inner who's barely been in the belt for a month, eh? Reminds me when Rayana and I were learning to spacewalk. One time, he crashed right into the hole and shit his vac suit. <laughs> shut, <laughs> shut it! Quit up! Whoa! Uh, airlock is open, Exo. Uh, good. Let's see what we have in here. Table scraps. Ah! Fuck! Yo, Baratna. She's crazy. Just breathe. Keep your head down. It's okay. 
Now say puke in your soup, eh? That you won't choke to death on your own sick. Enough. Whoever put out this welcome gift for us is long gone, and they left behind a big-ass ship that must have some valuables still on it. So get scavenging! You all have your orders. Hurry up and do your job so we can get back home. It's not like the pirates took down some creaky old ship. This thing was practically brand new. Got an intact QPU here. Nice find. Fuel, Fuel oxygen, oxygen, scrap, scrap metal, metal, wiring. wiring. If we can use it or sell it, it goes in here. Pirates tore this place apart, but pirates aren't scavengers. Keep an eye out for trouble while you're setting up the containment vaults. You ever cut anybody's head off, Fixel? Back when you ran with dolls? One time, I cut a man's eyes out when he looked at me funny. <gasps> for real? Sure did. Wore them as earrings the next night. Pasheng Fong! Doesn't look like a typical pirate attack to me. I agree. Maybe they were looking for something big and couldn't find it. Left the heads to try and scare off anyone else. Or maybe they were a bunch of psychotic Pashangwalas. Get your ass moving and we won't have to find out.
This looks like a fabricator of some kind. Maybe for material printing? Do we? <gasps> yes! Gimme, gimme! like the officer's section is still intact. Go check it out. On it. You know the military. The brass always hoards the best shit. <laughs> Let's hope so. Clean palladium in this recycler. Good pull, drummer. UNN officers always keep a backup water recycler for themselves. Selfish UNN Nakanji princess. Always looking out for themselves. Every army in history has been the same way. A lucky few call the shots and reap the rewards. The rest are cannon fodder. Commanders. This is Private Takabe. The pirates have asked me to report the following. All crew members, except for those barricaded in the officers' quarters, have been killed or captured. The pirates do not wish to kill anyone else. If you open the gate now and allow them to complete their search, no more lives will be lost. And if you do not comply... Oh God, please don't! Arlen and Rayan's experience hauling minerals on Vesta has been a big help, even when they annoyed the hell out of me. This map would be helpful if all the pieces were still together. No such luck. I did run a phase array scan. Everything matched the LiDAR except for one gap in the captain's quarters. I'll check it out when I get in there. Hey, Khan. You've been flying a long time. Ever seen anything like this before? Nah. But when it comes to pirates, nothing surprises me. They're all monsters. Sounds personal. Put it this way. We ever capture one alive? All I need is ten minutes and my torch blade. The ship would smell like barbecue for weeks. Oh, Hashang. Skinnies. Bigoted asshole. He still didn't deserve to die like this. Microwave energy gun. Not a bad choice for persuading someone to open a door. Last time Khan smoked a cigar on the ship, Maya had to spend half the day cleaning out the air filter. Not a lot of particulates in the air filter. Virgil, how long do you think the bodies have been like this? A couple of days? That's my assumption after analyzing the footage of the heads and the remnants of the precipitating battle. What have you noticed about the battle? Well, 
nothing about this attack seems random or impulsive. And yet, what was it all for? There's no clear motive. Very odd. So, about that. It's a fingerprint lock. You're going to need to find the right hand. An officer. The baka. Good news. The logs show that there was one out in the crew mess hall. Second Corporal Horowitz. All right. Might be difficult to get his body back to the door, though. Don't need all of them. Oh, God. Europa's Bane. Anyone heard of it? It's one of Toussaint Zapata's ships. Ah, fuck. Shoulda known. Who is that? Latest pirate flavor of the month. Led a mining strike on Europa. Stole a few ships. Now self-employed as a full-time murdering psychopath. UNN has been giving her a wide berth. If she wanted to take out this ship, it means she had a good reason. Or, she's just a murdering psychopath. Got it. Thanks. Maya, I'm in the mess hall. Time to find an officer. I've linked the personnel records to your terminal. Try scanning the bodies and see if you get a match. Looks like the crew tried to mount a defense here. For all the good it did. Those poor people. This is awful. Have you ever seen anything like it? No. Not even on series? Not even on series. Pashang. Check the shoulders. UNN officers have those fancy bars. I know pirates are vicious, but this is... You hear stories about people who spend too long off station. Go Big Pagal. Big Pagal? My belter is... It means really fucking crazy. This much violence seems pretty Big Pagal to me. Can you hurry up? Working on it. This was a massacre. No other word for it. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Have you checked the ceiling? If his mag boots were off, he might have drifted. I wonder if Toussaint was here herself, or if she stayed back on the ship like some other captains I know. Another pirate corpse. That makes two in here. Better than none. 
know anything else about the Europa Spain? Must be pretty massive to tear apart a frigate. Hell should I know? But if you learn any more about them, feel free to fill me in. That's the one. Poor Arthur. Sorry about this. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Rayan, what's happening? Ah, ah, an accident. My leg, uh, it's the- Falota, you're the accident. Keep holding. I'll be right there. Drummer, whatever mess he's got himself into, make sure the containment vault is secure. We cannot afford to lose it. Captain, Rayan's back suit is- Not now! Drummer, get your ass over there. On my way. My leg. Samalo, drama. Samalo. Hold still. We'll see what we can do. What happened? Unexploded charge, I think. Pirates must have left it behind. Pashang, you didn't scan first. Drummer, his suit is punctured and losing pressure. You need to release the vault and patch him now or he could die. Belay that! That vault has O2, fuel, armaments. We can't afford to lose it. Send Virgil. No. I'm sorry, Van. We're going to have to remove the leg. No, no, you're crazy. We need these supplies to survive. I wish there was another choice. What are you doing? Lowering the oxygen intake. It's no morphine, but it'll help. No, no, I can't. <laughs> Be strong, Bakalova. You heard her, Barata. Be strong. He's on his way, but Rayan's stable and his suit is pressurizing. Your patch should hold until he's back on board. You did good, drummer. Virgil's entering your sector now. Best thing you can do is hurry up and finish the search so we can get out of here.
you just... That was a pressure-sensitive panel. It must be connected to... Quick! Get away from there! Pashang, what? Combustion in five, four, three, two... <laughs> Really? Oh my god. I wish I could see your face right now. I hope you're very proud of yourself. I'm gonna be honest. I really am. OPA graffiti on the outside of the containment vault? How dumb can you get? these UNN big shots kept themselves. Captain, I'm prepping Mr. Morozov for surgery. Thanks to your steady hand, the incision is well cauterized. Will he be all right? Minimal vacuum exposure and blood loss. He's a very lucky man. Thanks, Virgil. Glad you were here. They suddenly didn't give up the ship without a fight. They don't even get to finish their last words. They suddenly didn't give up the ship without a fight. What's a UNN escort ship doing alone out here? There's nothing to escort. Besides the pirates, there's no signs of ships in the vicinity. So they must have been traveling alone. Interesting. What would bring a ship so far from Earth? Something valuable that the pirates couldn't find, but you will. They torched all their data. Standard up, but unfortunate for us. Even with the skeleton crew, the UNN would have massively outnumbered the pirates. And still, the pirates cut right through them. Khan, I have something for you. It's a surprise. The biggest surprise would be ten uninterrupted minutes without your voice in my ear telling me how to do my job. Can you give me that? You know, one of these nights I'm going to sneak into your quarters and smother you to death with your pillow. <laughs> Tell Arlen before you do. I bet that shithead would love to watch. You know what? Forget about the surprise. Already forgotten. This is Christian Abasarala, Deputy Undersecretary for Peace Operations. I am denying your request for additional support against Belter hostiles. Captain, 
You lead a well-armed battleship against a single pirate frigate. You outnumber them five to one. I don't give half a fuck what ghost stories you have heard about this Captain Tucson. Do your fucking job, or you can hand me your bars directly when you return to Earth to do whatever disgraced soldiers do after they have been retired. Regards, Christian Abasarala. Looks like a personal key card. I should find wherever it opens. Found a key card on the captain. Not sure what it's for though. Check his room? Maybe he has a safe somewhere that pirate scanners wouldn't have picked up. This one didn't see any other way out. I've heard some Earthers find it therapeutic to fly with something that reminds them of life at home. Plants, soil, stuffed animal carcasses. Hey Cap, you need any dead animals for your desk? Why the fuck would I? Probably still has rabies. Think of it as a gift. I saw it and was reminded of how you just stand there and watch us do all the work. Leave that thing where it is, or you'll be standing there watching us take off without you. Earthers like to visit the parts of their planet that they haven't destroyed yet. I'm no art snob, but I don't think most paintings are done on iron. Maybe something good on here. Or maybe a lot of dick pics. Guess we'll see. Cap, found something that could be something. Transmitting now. Fuck. That's a lot of data. <laughs> Alright. Load up the crew and head back. I'll see if there's any gold in this shit pile. Yeah, boss man. Khan's picking up a short in the fusion coupling. She needs you to take a look. Now? Is that necessary? It is, if you want to put this wreck behind us. I'm on it. I think with a name like Artemis, we'd eventually hit our target. Despite Khan's nickname, this cannon hasn't killed anything yet. It did break up some pretty large debris though.
This is Drama. Preparing to access the fusion coupling. Stand by. Maya. Maya. The volcano. You have to see this. Maya? Is everything... This is the way of it. We all know that. Death is part of the pact we make when we venture into the belt. Drummer was one tough bitch. With her past, I figured she would survive anything. But none of us is immune to the realities of life out here. I know Kamina Drummer. And she wouldn't want us wasting our oxygen on mourning. She'd tell us to get off our asses and get to work. That's the drummer I know. She'd be looking ahead to the next score. The next burn. That's right, boss man. I keep my eyes forward. But that makes it a lot harder to watch my back. It's over. You're fucked, Pompa. How the hell did you- Sabakawala tried to torch me. Lured me down to the thrusters, hit the engine. Play it off like it was an accident. I bet he was up in the bridge alone before coming down here, yeah? So what? I was setting new coordinates. How, how was I supposed to know you were on the hull? <laughs> Why don't we pull up the radio logs from the server? Shouldn't take long. Now I understand. Y'all see what's happening? Drummer's making her move. I always wondered when she would. Why did you do it? Was there something on that drive I found? Can you believe this bullshit? You've been planning this since you first stepped on board this ship, haven't you? Mutinous bitch. Ask yourselves, who do you believe? Me? Or the man who has made promise after promise with no payoff? Darling, Rayan. Take her down to the brig. She's gonna pay for this traitorous bullshit. Do it! Maybe he right, Drama. You can be pretty rough on your crew sometimes. But Beltalorda ain't nothing if we sell each other out to Inyas. Nah. I don't think so, Pampa. Damn skinnies. I should have known. Everybody stay where you are. Stand back. This is still my ship. Why don't you put that gun down, Captain? We're all crew here. 
We may be scavengers, but we're not criminals. We follow protocol. We solve disputes with words, not violence. That's how we keep our humanity. Give me the gun, Captain. It'll be okay. She's gonna kill me. No one is gonna kill you. I won't be so sure about that. Back off. I'm warning you all. Captain, it'll be okay if you just- Bullshit. Tell it to the skinnies, not me. You want to see what happens to you when they're in charge of this ship? Maybe we should tell them who you really are. <laughs> Fuck! Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> Virgil, this is not your fault, but we need you now. What happened to do no harm, asshole? Are you okay? I'm good. Good. I'll man the bridge while you sort out this shit show. Just don't touch anything! I'll be right there! As soon as Dr. Dipshit here is finished. I did everything for you, drummer. I could have turned you over to Dawes a hundred times, but I didn't, because we made a deal. A deal is dead. Oh no. Don't you fucking dare. Don't you dare- Take him to the airlock. Oh, no! No, drummer! No, let me go! Let Drummer, no! Please, drummer, no! Ah! Listen, come on! Listen to me, damn it! Drummer, listen to me. The coordinates on that data drive. They're for the MK core. You've never heard of it, that's exactly my point. Look, you were right, okay? I did try and take you out. I've heard how you ungrateful fucks all talk about me. Why should I let you cash in now? But really, I... I wanted the profits for myself. Because this score, Drummer, this is the greatest score any scavenger has ever come across. Spare us the bullshit. We've heard it all before. Not from the inside of a fucking airlock. Look. When you find what's at the other end of those coordinates, the whole system will be on your ass. You'll need me if you want any chance of unloading it. I'm a bastard, okay? I know. But I'm not crazy. Throw me in the brig. You'll be glad I'm still here when the time comes. Listen to me, damn it. Gummer, listen to me!
What now? We've been locked. Cox forgot to hide our drive signature. Ha Shang, of course he did. <laughs> Captain? Captain Drummer, what are your orders? Captain Drummer, what are your orders? Please, Kamina, don't do this. I'll do anything, anything, I swear. How long until the pirates are back in range? Hour, maybe two, depending on burn. Same as last time. And the time before that? And the tin time before that. How are you doing? I'm not the one we need to worry about. Don't tell her I said this, but Khan's the toughest person I know. I think the bullet just made her mad. Tough or not, she's going to need help soon. You'll figure something out. I know you will. Motherfuckers! Shouldn't be possible! ETA, eight minutes! They must have increased their burn this time. Uh, don't these Pashangwalas rest? Humans rest. Pirates are fucking animals. We need to do something about your arm. Virgil has the medbay prepped and ready. It's fine. Hardly hurts anymore. We're outgunned and nearly out of fuel. Unless we come up with a plan to shake them soon, infection's gonna be the least of my problems. What do you think Cox would do? He sure as fuck wouldn't be asking me about it. Cox went with his gut. For better and worse. That's what a captain does. But maybe you're no fucking captain. Captain. Coordinates, 8214. What are we looking at? Fuck if I know. It's a ship's graveyard. Debris field. Caught in orbit around that body. There's nothing registered there. How do you know? Back when I was MCRN, there were reports of a proxy battle right around here with UNN forces. Never confirmed, but seemed legit. Or much more likely, it's some solar backscatter, radiation cluttering, or any other fucking thing. How sure are you? Geez, after the last few days? I'm not sure I could tell the difference between a pistol grip ratchet and a flex head. <laughs> 80%. New plan. We run for cover, in there. Won't work, boss man. If we, if we break their lock, they'll be able to track our drive plume. There won't be a drive plume. We burn hard for here first, then cut engine and turn into orbit. 
Let it carry us around until we land in the debris. Slingshot, fuck yes! Could work, if there is actually something there. Stations! Con, on my word, loose a PDC volley, then turn and burn. in the debris field. <laughs> it's shit turrets! You did it, Barsmang! Fucking legend! Quiet! We don't have much time. The pirates are searching for us, and we can't run again without more fuel and reaction mass. Arlen? Rotna and I will head out and start scanning. Captain, I'm prepped for surgery as soon as Khan is ready. <sighs> Tell that waste of oxygen I wouldn't be needing surgery if he didn't freak out the first time. I'm still here. Virgil's our doctor. He's what we have. The prosthetic is ready. Is the, uh, patient? Fine. But you're staying to make sure Dr. Dipshit doesn't cut off the wrong arm. I'm picking up any signs of fuel. Keep looking. Meantime, I'll go for their reaction mass. What a mess. What got Earth and Mars so worked up? And what's a Belta ship doing in the middle of it? Who knows? Hopefully they all got some reaction mass on board, though. Damn. The blast doors to the Laguin are locked down. Not sure if there's a way to open them. Always a way through. If you got enough explosives. Go check out the other ships. I'll see what I can rig up. You want to use explosives to blast through a blast door. Guess that could work. Come 
can't even tell which ship is which. It's all blasted to Falota. There's definitely more scrap here than a few ships can account for. Maya was right. This was a full-on proxy battle. With a Belta ship at the center. surgery goes well for her sake and Virgil's don't want to interrupt but how is everything down there the auto dock kept us on track but Virgil had to do some of the larger incisions himself Khan will be out for a while when she wakes up we'll try to attach the prosthetic and what the oh yeah Maya shit Ugh. And Inya say that Belta food is disgusting. Real Earth Whiskey. Even Cox has to settle for the Belta stuff. Earthers love their oceans. Too bad they destroyed them all. Maya seemed willing to help with Khan's surgery. Hope she doesn't regret that now. Maya? Status report? Fire the torpedoes! Give those sons of bitches a welcome, or I'll throw you in the brig! Sit down, or I'll cut off the other arm! Sorry, Cap, what was that? Wait, are the pirates attacking? No! Khan is just a little woozy from the anesthesia. Don't worry about a thing. I'm gonna knock her out if she gets up again. Must be the captain. Very proud of his connections to the UN and Brass. So the Belters stole some tech from the MCRN. That's how this started. Then why did the UNN get involved? They figured that whatever the Belters had, it was worth taking. Of course they did. Got a barrel here. I'll take her. Good work, Sasata. Bosman, you probably noticed me Baratna has been a little edgy lately. Ray, your brother has been an angry Pasheng Wallo since my first day on board. This is different. He's... he's got the shakes. It's the pixie dust. But he's been clean for almost a year. He takes some meds that help keep him straight, but... But we haven't done a supply run in weeks. Yeah, ran out of toxiperidone three days ago. Don't worry, boss man. He'll be fine. He's tough. But, thought you should know. These boots might fit Khan. Once I get the feet out of them. Ugh. 
Hey, feet are a good sign. Means they work. Were they planning for an interrogation? Then why'd they start shooting? Hmm. The Martian ship had focus drugs on board. Must have wanted to question someone. I hate those things. Rayon and I got busted by the MCR in once. Didn't think I'd leave that interrogation room alive. Watching that Martian's eyes go all weird. Last time we ever stole anything on Vesta. Had to move to Ceres and start stealing there. Might be able to rewire this guidance system to work with our ammo. It was good enough for Earth and Mars to tear each other apart. And neither side surrendered, even after taking heavy fire. Stupid Inyas, they never know when to quit. Maya is always complaining about the tools in the engineering bay. Maybe an MCRM model would cheer her up. Yeah, Cap. Cheer up the Martian girl with your tool. Pashang Fong. I'm sure Khan will be fine, but it wouldn't hurt to check on the crew. I'm sure Khan will be fine, but it wouldn't. Is everything, um. Okay, she just said we've been boarded, and now she's wandering around looking for intruders, so everything's fine. Maya? Are you afraid of the elderly woman with one arm? Fuck off! You weren't here! You didn't see the look in her eyes when she... Wait... Hey there! Do you want to lie down for a minute? Do you want to fucking die?! Oh no. Found some reaction mass. Toss it to me! I will store it! Nice toss, Cap! Woo! Boss Mang, I got everything hooked up to blow the door. Head back to the Laguin and check it out. Got it. Hopefully we'll find enough reaction mass to get out of here. And then what? We going treasure hunting? Yeah. You think those coordinates go anywhere interesting? We've been on the run for a week because somebody thinks so. Think so with a lot of torpedoes and guns, Ethan. I'll never look at a containment vault the same again after that terrible situation with Rayon. Rayon, how's the new prosthetic doing? Sometimes it feels just like my old leg. But then sometimes it feels like it's the stranger who won't let go of me. And then it starts itching so bad. Quit whining. You made the red call, Cap. Ray wasn't using his leg much anyway. <laughs> Explosives are set. Good work, Kamina. Now let the whole station see what happens to traitors who sell out the OPA to the Inyas. I'm in. Hmm. 
another blast door. Pushing. Fine, I'll get more explosives. No need. I should be able to access the lockdown controls from the bridge. Good thinking, Cap. Could still find more explosives. Just in case. Yalek Pashang! If there's one thing all belters can agree on, is that the moldy filters kick ass. If Maya and Khan start fighting, there won't be any ship left to go back to. Please tell me you're still alive. Okay. Khan and I had to trade a few punches, but we got her calm enough to attach the prosthetic. Aw, were you worried about me? A rampaging pilot on a drug-fueled hallucination? I never doubted you for a second. Goddamn right. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to find an ice pack. That went surprisingly well. Looks like the crew tried to record a message. This message is to all murder and Martian security forces in the area. We have received your warnings and demands, and this will be our only response. The MCRN says we have stolen their property. The UNN says we are traveling illegally in their sector. We recognize neither of your claims over us. This is our belt. Torpedoes, away! Incoming! Stand down now and let us keep our course. We will either join our OPA Baratnas on Titania, or sacrifice ourselves to your destruction. There is no other option. Belterlada, who here is prepared to die for your belt? Belterlada! 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 You hear that? Wouldn't surrender the tech and send their message in the only way the inners understand. What was the message? That the Inners may control everything, but they can't control the Belt, and they'll never control Belters. Brave, Koyos. They were heading toward Titania to link up with the Belter sect there. Almost made it. Wouldn't let anyone get their hands on that tech. Good for them. After I wiped the floor with doors one time, he declared that Gogo -Go was frivolous and banned OPA from playing. <laughs> Typical. I'll need to make a hole to pass this to the twins. Found another barrel. Woo! Faces loaded! 
or whatever the Inya say. <laughs> <laughs> Touchdown! Wow! We've got some radiation from a nearby ship, the Manitoba. Scanner shows the engine is mostly intact. Maybe a few pellets too. Boss man, that's the far edge of the debris field. You'll be exposed. You two head back to the Artemis. Everyone stays on the ship, but be ready to pick me up on my order. Captain, we're picking up a communication from the Europa's Bane. Sabaka, they locked us? No, it's a broadcast. But they must know we're close. Patch it over. There is no sense in running anymore. You know who I am, and I am looking forward to meeting you. Contact me to discuss the terms of your surrender. Or just sit and wait until we find you. It's only a matter of time. Shit, shit, shit! Cap, you got to get back here! Not without fuel pellets. Stupid drone is stuck. Sabaka! I doubt they will all be so easy to kill. Virgil, if I respond, will they be able to trace the signal? No, it will only confirm you are in broadcast range. But they seem pretty sure of that already. Put me through. Captain Zapata, this is Kamina Drummer of the Artemis. I don't want to fight you, but keep sending your crew after me, and I'll be forced to keep killing them. You're a long way from Siri Station, Kamina Drummer. You've heard of me? I've heard of your work and your bounty. But if I'm speaking to you, what happened to Garrison Cox? He attempted to double his profits. As a result, I am now captain. Not surprising. There's no loyalty among scavengers. Not that the OPA is any better. You must really enjoy the company of miscreants.
You can always retreat, Toussaint. Protect the rest of your crew. Your reputation is well earned, Captain Drummer. Daniel and Yuri were, they were two of my best. But their needless deaths do not change. Enough. I've had a very long week in a crash couch because of you. Either fall back or keep sending your men to die. Those are your options. Please tell me this thing has ammo. I'm on my way. No! Everyone, stay back! What's happening? Why are the pirates pulling away? There are always more options, Captain. I'll have the coordinates. Even if I have to comb through rubble to find them. Goodbye. You're bluffing. Hello? Toussaint! Come on. Gotta be some ammo left. PDC delivery. Sabaka! Are you crazy? You could get killed! So could you! Now step back and let me do my job. I don't know what the fuck you two are doing, but I'm approaching your location on control thrusters for whenever we shut off. Glad you're back at your post. What are you waiting for? We only get one shot before they know our position. There! Well, 
I believe celebrations are in order. Coordinates are set for the MK Core. Time to see what all the fucking fuss is about. With the fuel you found, we should have no problem getting there and back to Ganymede, at least. And how is the new... prosthetic? It'll do. Get some rest, Captain. No telling what we'll find at those coordinates. I've never had anything resembling a civil conversation with Khan before, but I've also never had a cigar to ply her with. Hey, Khan. Resting. Go away. I found this cigar on the Urshanabi. Thought you might want it. But I could always give it to the twins. Don't you dare store. give it to those two morons. They'd use it as a butt plug or something. First taste, you earned it. <laughs> oh, Pashang, <clears throat> it tastes like burnt kibble. That's your unrefined palate. You need to smoke more to burn away all the taste buds. <coughs> My husband, Bao, used to hate when I smoked. Said it was 40 minutes of pleasure for three hours of cleaning out the air vents. He wasn't wrong. What happened to him? The Pinafore, a small transport skiff owned by Trackman. I was pilot, Bao was chief mechanic. Boring work. Little outside contact. Exactly what we wanted. There'd been reports of pirates along our heading. The usual shit. We weren't worried because... What's the point? And besides, we had our protocol. Protocol? A maneuver we practiced. In case of hostile boarding, I'd feign submission. Hands behind my head. And when Bao thought the moment was just right, he'd say the code word and hit the deck, and then... Modified SMG with heat targeting rounds. I could draw and fire the clip in five seconds, easily take out an entire raiding party. That is actually a solid tactical maneuver. Pirates wouldn't expect a weapon there, and Bao would be safe on the floor. I know. So what happened? The pirates came for us like we feared. They boarded the pinafore. I drew them in, got them occupied. 
And at the right moment, Bao said the word. And I froze. I'd never fired live rounds in battle before, and I suddenly doubted myself. What if the clip was jammed? Would it even fire? Maybe these pirates weren't so bad. It was just a moment. But it was enough time for an antsy pirate fuck to grab me and shoot my bow. I've seen a lot of combat. Prepare all you want. No one knows how they will respond until the moment comes. Bao's death was not your fault. Maybe. Maybe not. Doesn't matter much anymore, does it? Don't you want to know the code word? Artemis. I'd never heard of her. It was Bao who read all the Greek bullshit. Apparently, she and I shared a few things in common. Your godlike wrath? <laughs> that may have been part of it. <laughs> Mostly, he said it was because... I never missed my shot. Tell you what, if I ever get the chance, you bet your ass I won't flinch again. Can you believe how vicious these pirates are? Yes. I mean, how they were willing to blow us up just to prove a point. Yes. So you don't think there's anything special about them? Yes, I do. They seem to have more guns. Any guesses on our destination? Nada. All I know is that it's far the fuck out there. So whoever hid that treasure, wanted it far the fuck away. It's good talking with you, Khan. Yeah, yeah. It's been a rough week. I should check in with the crew and see how everyone's doing. I was skeptical of Virgil's maggot farm that he claimed would be useful in the event of an amputation. Now I'm hoping we have enough for Khan and Rayan. What are you listening to? It's Martian music. You wouldn't like it. I'll decide what I like and don't like.
It's a beautiful song. My mom used to play it for us on the guitar. Half the time she'd break down crying and not even finish it. It reminded her of my dad. It's funny. I hate my dad. I hate the army he died for. And I hate Mars. But I still miss it. Khan seemed pleased with her prosthetic. Particularly the extra feature you included. That's good. Although you realize we just took the most unhinged person on the ship and gave her a bionic skull crusher for an arm. I think if Khan wanted to kill someone, she could do it without arms or legs. What you did in the debris field was incredibly reckless. You disobeyed my order, and you put the whole- Oh my god. You're fucking welcome. I was getting to that. Thank you. Anytime. I'll leave you to it then. Wait. Um. About that moment in the airlock. Yes. Are you feeling any better? I know you were pretty scared given how tightly you were holding my hand. I'm pretty sure you grabbed my hand in there. Oh, sure. We can go with that if you want. I'm just saying, I'm here if you need to talk. The only thing we need to talk about is your delusion of fantasizing about me. I get it. It must be hard for the boss Meng to express her feelings. <laughs> Especially to the hot Martian engineer who can totally kick your ass. Not according to that scoreboard. My point is, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Mm. Even if you did clink helmets with me. Clink helmets? What is that supposed to mean? I think you know exactly what it means. Helmet clinker. Typical dumb Martian. You try to kiss a woman, but forget to take your helmet off first. If I did try to kiss you, there'd be no fucking confusion about it. You know, we could stand here talking about hands and helmets all night. Or we could go back to my room and... Settle it. By settle it, are you talking about sex? Only one way to find out. Wow. Honestly, I'm glad Maya finally got one. This was starting to get sad. So this is where that missing barbecue sauce went.
Saving this containment vault was an awful call to have to make. But without the fuel, ammo, and oxygen it contains, we could end up losing a lot more than just a leg. Arlen treats Rayan like he's the weak one, but I haven't heard a single complaint from Rayan since his surgery. Whatever Cox was saying about Virgil's past clearly upset him. I need to know what it was about. What's on your mind, Captain? Cox said you were hiding something. Something that Belters wouldn't like. I don't mean to speak ill of the dead, but Cox was a habitual liar. First he tried to murder you, then he tried to deflect blame onto me. So there's nothing else you wish to share? Nothing you're hiding? No, Captain. No more than anyone else on this ship. Get some rest, Virgil. Will do, Captain. If I sleep with Maya, the entire crew will know about it. Nothing stays secret on a ship like this. Is one night worth all the drama? Definitely. Fucking finally. When Cox sat us down in the mess hall, I thought you were dead. And today, in the airlock, I thought we were dead. I know. I'm just saying, you're not allowed to die on me, Kamina Drummer. Because I'm not losing the one person in the belt I give a shit about. Captain, you're going to want to see this. There's nothing on the map. No record of any settlements. So what the fuck is that? Receiving this message, it means you've found us at last. You've come, and with you comes the next great step in the evolution of humanity. 
We have been preparing for your arrival for years, perhaps centuries. We have been patient. We know you have much to teach us. If you can hear my voice, whoever you are, welcome home. It just repeats after that. Who was that? The head of the station, presumably. Sounds more like a cult leader to me. Someone who flew too far from home. Generations ago, millions of Earthers tried to set up mining stations in the belt. Some of them lasted. Some died off right away. And some of them, no one knows. Still, a station this large, uncharted and seemingly uninhabited? It's like nothing I've heard of. What did the initial scans tell us? None of the scanners penetrate past the first level. But there are no heat signatures, no activity, except this broadcast. Looks clear. Maybe. But we don't know who stashed it here. Or who else they might have told about it. Not to mention, how the fuck are we gonna find it in there? The place is massive. There was a line in the coordinates. Something about... The first ones. Fuck does that mean? Won't know till we get inside. Arlen, Rayan. Stay on the ship. Be ready to burn hard if there's any activity on the radar. Jo Ting, boss man. Good hunting. Maya and I will head inside and search around. Cap! Be careful. Exactly how old is this place? Do not look to be on any maps? Maybe a hundred years? Damn. This is fucking strange. Let's search for the command center. Found it. Over here. I've never seen helmets this old. Crazy that people used to wear these into the vacuum. An entire station. Completely abandoned. I can't even imagine what could have happened here. Maybe we'll find out. As long as it's on the way to finding the MK core. The station is ancient, but the nav beacon is new tech. The station is ancient, but the nav beacon is new tech. The ox power is on these breaker keys. The sector is now powered. There are three total. 
Each should have its own control room like this. Three sectors. I'll go ahead to find the control centers in each one. You keep scanning the servers for any leads. Fine. Have the fun to yourself. I'll call you once I power up the next sector. There's a dead body here. He seems almost... posed. That's weird. Do you think it's related to the core? Don't know. I'll keep searching around. The last one? Huh. What does this mean? Okay. This group called itself the Cassiopeia Collective. Landed here in 2226. They were an unlicensed settler community from Earth. What happened to them? No clue. Nothing good, by the looks of it. was right, we're about to hit the greatest score a scavenger has ever come across. That's what he said. So, what do you plan to do with it? The money, I mean. I'll head back to Ceres. You want to go back to the station where there's a bounty on your head? With this money, I can make the bounty disappear. How? By going to war with Dawes? By making him irrelevant. I'm going to build an OPA that actually helps Belters. Falota. Drummer? What happened? Dead bodies. Many of them. I'll head to the power. Then we can investigate it together. Now you want to include me? Fantastic. So what about you? What are you going to do with your share? I... I don't know. I haven't thought about it. Philotha, you must have some idea. Wanna buy one of those Martian mountain ranges? Set up an estate there. You know what my favorite view of Mars is? When I can cover it up with my thumb. Maybe I'll buy the Artemis off Khan. You can call me captain for a change. Ah. Uh. This ship has had enough mutinies already. Bodies in the vacuum don't decompose. Guess that was the lesson. Next life goals. Strange lesson for children. Or anyone. I'm not familiar with the Dalton Principle. Something tells me it's not exactly accepted science.
These aren't just coffins. They're designed to keep corpses in stasis, virtually forever. Looks like they were pulling walls off the station to fashion these caskets. Big Pagal. All of this planning and effort, just to prepare for their own deaths. Reading this message, you'd hardly know they'd given up on surviving and are putting all their hope in. Aliens? You were kidding. It's like a crypt. I thought Belters recycled their dead. We do. We don't get to be sentimental. We use every ounce of every resource we have. It's how we survive. So what do you think happened here? Maybe the people here were abandoned and went mad. Who knows what else we might find. Dear God. There's no sign of the core yet. I'll check the server here. Keep me posted on any more excitement you find. Grateful to have company in here. About last night. Yeah, Cap. Tell us about last night. Which one of you made all those noises? <laughs> Sounded like a coyo stuck on a... Ah, Falata! Get off this channel! All these poor Sabakawalas, staring at the abyss for eternity. I submit this recording alongside the station's medical records for future study. Though I take less faith than Dalton and foreign visitors, I have hope our tragedy will prove instructive to the burgeoning field of extraterrestrial immunology. <coughs> the pandemic which decimated this station began as a standard mycobacterium tuberculosis infection. <clears throat> I contend it was our antibiotic air filters which provoked the initial evolutionary surge. 
but <coughs> it was the children born to this station whose stunted immune systems provided the fatal breeding grounds. <clears throat> I did all I could. In truth, we all did. But we had no chance. They were taking supplements to combat living in microgravity. Wonder if it's the same stuff we take. I doubt it. The only reason we survive now is because of what we learned from settlements like this. These must be from whoever planted the MK core. We're close. I'd never let this happen to me. I've got my recycler all picked out. Looks like the medic was well liked. So you're heading back to Ceres and leaving the Artemis without a captain? I suppose that's true. Damn. If I knew last night was a one-off, I would have gotten even less sleep. I will. Miss you too. Oh, for fuck's sake. At least call me a Wellwalla, or tell me how you can kick my large ass. I will miss kicking your ass, Wellwalla. Thank you. You seeing this? Sure am. How has all of this just been sitting here? Their stories were abandoned, just like they were. What gets me is that there was no OPA back then. There wasn't even the word Belter. But as soon as they got out here, somehow their lives didn't matter anymore. Huh. Well, if that's how you feel, welcome to the OPA. I'm serious. I'm serious too. The OPA isn't just for dark orphans on Ceres. It's for anyone who wants to fight for a free belt. At least that's what it should be. Another nav beacon. We must be getting close to the core. Looks different from the coffins in the upper sectors. Maybe they built it in the early days, before they ran out of supplies. Got some mining charges here. Looks disarmed. Wait. How much do they look disarmed? Disarmed enough. You clearly haven't handled many explosives. Guilty as charged. Is this where the broadcast came from? Could be a transmitter.
With all this alone time you've given me, I've been thinking about something. Whatever this treasure is, the one thing we know is that it will change everything. No more scavenging, no more running. That's the hope. The thing is, I think if I had all the money in the world to do anything I wanted, it would be doing this with you. Okay, not this exactly, but working with you to help build a better future for the belt. I want to be a part of it, if you'll have me. I mean, I'd be lucky to have you. So would the OPA. As long as you're sure that's what you really want. I want to be a part of something that matters. And I want to be with the only person who's ever made me feel like I matter to. Holy shit, this is beautiful. It is. I still don't understand it, but it's beautiful. That shape at the bottom, I recognize it from the coordinates. That's promising. Let me check the server for this sector, then I'll meet you down there. Okay, here's something. The sector's thermo scanner reports biometric presence. There must have been someone here. <gasps> They're still here! Coming down! No! Stay back! Try to get eyes! My name is Kamina Drummer. I don't know who you are, but... I know who you are! You're the pirate JP sent to take me out! Lousy in your scum! But you'll never find that sample! Maya! I see him! He has you pinned down. I'll try to direct you from up here. Okay, he's coming up on the left. Wrist terminal broken. And he was running low on oxygen. The hypoxia must have made him disoriented. He seemed to confuse you for someone else. JP? His oxygen was so low, I don't think he even knew who he was shooting at. I know he just tried to kill you, but... Poor guy. This wrist terminal is too busted to search. There's a hand terminal over there. Must be his. There's a message on here. You stole something from me. Luckily for you, 
My desire to see it return is greater than my desire for revenge. This will be your only chance. Say I was open to it. My partner has other ideas. We know. She's already contacted the UN and their Shinabi. Luckily, some pirates got to them first. Pirates? Are they... Don't worry about them. Just send me your location and hold tight. However you deal with your partner, my men will clean it up. <laughs> this is why I love Earthers. So this man stole the MK core. Brought it out here with his partner. His partner, who must be around here somewhere. Maybe they have the core. I wouldn't have made it through that firefight without Maya. This man worked for whoever made the MK Core. So where's his partner? Oh god, the first ones, they're all children. It's a children's tomb. They buried their children here first. Couldn't bear the thought of recycling them. Then they couldn't bear the thought of being separated from them either. So here they are. Here they are. So these people stole the core and ran here. And they hid their prize. In a fucking children's tomb. Some of the first children born in the belt, and this is the fate they suffered. They were abandoned, but at least they weren't forgotten. Here. What do you think happened? Let's find out.
Looks like the scientist contacted the UNN, and they sent over the Urshanabi. But they weren't able to stop the word from leaking out. MK Core isn't a treasure. It's a weapon. What kind of weapon? I don't know. Something alive. And fucking dangerous. So they stole the MK Core and brought it here. But then our security guard turned on his partner and shot her? Seems right. I have compiled evidence to show why this substance presents such a novel set of risks. I now truly believe we may be looking at an eschatological event. I thought I could deliver this sample to the right hands and develop an antidote, but I underestimated many things. All that matters is that I destroy the sample and pray the same will be done to the rest of this cursed substance. Guess they stashed it before they had their fight. It's not in here. So the MK core is some kind of organism? I don't know. And neither do the scientists studying it. And yet this company is pouring endless amounts of money into it. They're willing to kill to keep it secret, and now they're running human tests. Not humans. Belters. Belters who were lied to, or tricked into agreeing to this, assuming they were given a choice at all. Fucking inners. They found a weapon they didn't understand, and they brought it out here to play with. That's horrible. It's nothing new. Just like Anderson Station, the Le Guin. Even these people, left out here to die. Just another chapter in the story. Got something. Ready? We found it. And now we're going to destroy it. reach full burn in about a minute. What are you going to tell the others? That we didn't have a choice. We can't sell a weapon like this, no matter how much money is involved. Kamina, we do have a choice. Hear me out. Whatever this is, it could still be everything you need to help the belt. What if we kept it? As a weapon? Or as a bargaining chip. Call it what you want, but no one would mess with the OPA if they knew- The OPA doesn't work that way. 
It's a hundred factions with a thousand goals. The OPA would tear itself apart over something like this. Why are you so sure of that? You're talking like an inner. I'm talking like someone who knows the OPA. Who knows men like Doss and what they do to stay in power. But the belt may never get a chance like this again. You can't just take that away. You don't get it. You may have bounced around in Zero-G for a while, but you don't understand the belt. Hey! What don't I understand? Belters always look for danger. Broken air filters, leaky reactors, anything that could mean danger. And this... is a disaster waiting to happen. Think about it. Not like a Martian, but like a Belter. From everything you've seen out here so far. How do you think this really ends for us? Fuck. You're right. Let's do what we have to do. See, Baratna? Told you we couldn't trust her. Hand it over. Now! And that? Arlen, listen to me. That is a death sentence. You'll never be able to unload it without getting killed in the process. See, that's your issue. No faith in your crew. I already have a buyer on series. Damn it, Arlen, you don't understand what you're doing. You always think you know better than everyone else. That's how you always end up here, yeah? I don't know what the fuck your plan is, but you can't just take over the ship and throw Drummer in the brig. No brig. Airlock. What do you mean? I just got to head back to Ceres and- Tincha! How long is the trip to Ceres? Huh? Two weeks? Three? You want to stay awake the whole time? Until we sell this thing, she'll be trying to take it back. Stubber or Walla never knows when she's lost. Oh my god. No, there has to be another way. As long as she's on board, it's still her ship. You think Maya and Virgil will take orders from us while she's around? Even the fucking pilot likes her. No. It's the only way to finish this. Take her to the airlock.
I'm sorry, Cap. For real. I wish I could stop Arlen. You can. Help me take him down. But Ratna's the only reason I'm alive. The only reason I got off Vesta. Watch you die, either. No! You can't stand to be apart from your girlfriend, can you? You son of a bitch! Let me go! What did you do? Sabaka nearly bit my ear off. Would have clawed my eyes out next. Wait, she isn't a part of this. On. We can make it to the station and send a distress signal. Hurry! I'm the one with the bullet in me. You take it. You'll be fine. We both will. I can't. Stop! I'm still your captain. Do it. Now! I said I would do anything to help the belt. And nobody can do more for the belt than you. No! Come on, come on! No! Come on! Maya, please. <laughs> Maya. Oh, Maya. <laughs> Maya, 
I need to get off this rock. I'll come back for you. we heard had to come from somewhere if I can find its source maybe I can change it to a distress call some way of communicating with the inner planets. Of course, when the inners wouldn't help you, you started shouting in every direction at once. If I point the antennas back toward the gravity well, I can boost the signal and send the distress call. Oh, Sabaka, I'll have to use the mining tunnel. The quickest way to the antenna array is under that massive mining cart. I have to power it up. This must control the mine tracks. Ancient tech, but effective. passcode like this. Hmm. I'll run out of oxygen before I guess the shape they want. But maybe the miners left a clue somewhere. Huh. You tried to fight off the inevitable.
add another funeral to the calendar. But if Maya can't have a Belter funeral, at least I'll give her a Martian one. They didn't have a chance out here, but they had a purpose. It's something. This is UNN Command for the station Cassiopeia. We have received your multiple distress calls, and our response has not changed. We encourage you to contact your private insurance supplier. If you do not have insurance, you can apply for emergency relief aid. You will be assigned a spot on the wait list. UNN Command, we understand that you cannot help us. No one can. At least, no human. I never understood how big it all is. But glancing out into our sorry keyhole, you begin to comprehend the scope of the universe. This would be our last message, as we're repositioning our radio transmitter to a far better purpose. It may take millennia to achieve contact, but we will be waiting. This place has given us nothing but death. But death is all we need. This is an automated message from UN in command. It's a record of the transmissions with the inner planets. So this is the voice we've been hearing. Not a cult leader. Just a man trying to hold his people together. Hmm. I'll run out of oxygen before I guess the shape they want. But maybe the miners left a clue somewhere. Get to the antennas, boost the message, get help. What are the odds that someone hears it? Who is? Perhaps you should spend your last breaths preparing for your final rest. Your fight is over, Kamina. Seek peace now. You want me to lie down and die? Is that it? I merely mean, suggest that you embrace the inevitable. Don't talk to the bodies. Don't talk to the bodies. Don't talk to the bodies. Oh, yeah. Is 
is anyone breathing? Mm, I can't hear you. I said, you are a long way from home, Molly. Does? I told you I'd find you. Considering the price on your head, I'm amazed you got this far. You're not real. You're just a ghost from a sad and distant past. You shouldn't be so quick. Turn down conversation, Carmina. Unless you want, unless you want, unless you want to keep talking to the head. You want to waste my oxygen? Fine, but you have to keep up. So what is the plan? Sending a message no one will hear. Hoping for help that will never come. You really do belong here. Someone could hear it. Someone could come. You never know when to quit. You fight and you fight and where does it get you? Hush, Hank. Did those rocks just turn into heads? So jumpy. You've gone soft since you left series. Almost there. He's quite a bit further, I'm afraid. If you're heading in the right direction. Shut. Up. Just trying to help. So what has Kamina Drama done since leaving series? What have you done to protect the belt while hiding out in that shit? I'm not hiding. And when I get out of here... Yes, what happens then? You save the belt, right? From me? From the Inyas? From the tainted treasure you found? Correct. Do you actually believe all that? Or do you need a story to tell yourself as you die? You read what, what you sow, so, Captain. Captain. Is this supposed to be for me? Always thinking about yourself. Is this supposed to be for me? Always thinking about yourself. Gotta be another lever around here. be a way to double back. It's okay. Nothing down there but rocks.
does. Don't tell me you've gotten bored with the... <sighs> Don't be needy. I'm sure you can handle this on your own. I can. Leave me alone. Don't worry, Marty. At the end of the day, you always end up alone. What is this? What's in here? Don't worry. You can't hurt them worse than you already did. Son of a bitch. It was your fault. Interesting. I don't remember setting explosives around the building. You lied to me. You told me that... I told you what you needed to hear. And you, like a good little soldier, didn't question me. So many dead. Was it worth it? Factionalism will tear the OPA apart if we let it. These people threatened the stability of the entire station when they challenged me.
You used to be the kind of leader who could bring out the best in anyone. Even a disgraced UNN general like Fred Johnson. What happened? I know what it takes to survive, which is why I am here and you are there. Helix. As bad as Earth and Mars. You make your pretty speeches and then you kill to get what you want. I continue to fight for the bell. You abandon us. They were our Baratnas. All they wanted was a better life on Ceres. And you killed them for it. You turned me into a murderer. I'm done being trapped in the past. But the past isn't done with you. And that guilt will stay with you right up to the end. Is this the part where you tell me that there's no use in sending a message? That if anyone here has Kamina Drummer and needs help, they'll just start celebrating. Those. who? So you're dying of hypoxia on a forgotten asteroid abandoned by your crew. Everything out here can kill you. You taught me that. 
But you faced pirates. And torpedoes. Hell, half your crew tried to kill you at one point or another. Are you really telling me that Kamina Drummer is going to be beaten by a goddamn door? I never should have come out here. I... I never should have let you. When have you ever let me do anything? Stop beating yourself up. You didn't kill me, Kamina. I saved you. You have work left to do. For the belt and for me. So are you gonna spend the rest of your oxygen feeling sorry for yourself? Or are you going to get to fucking work? Tensho, this is an emergency distress call. I am stranded and near death. Send help immediately. Please, don't let me die. Ha! <sighs> 
make you. I will make your sacrifice matter. Hmm. You look like a clogged up recycler, Filter. <laughs> Better gather your wits. 
Magna, I want to speak with you soon. <laughs> I would have been better off choking to death on that rock. Seems like overkill to me. Ugh. I don't know if I'm more horrified or disgusted. Hey. Over here. I wonder what her story is. Looks like an Inya. Whoever she is, she's a long way from home. Kamina Drummer? You must be confused. I don't know who you're talking about. My name is Julie Mao. Anderson Doss has a message for you. Please. Shut up! Uh. This is a blind spot, but they'll be happy to let me rough you up a little. Maybe a couple of minutes? It's our only window. Window? To figure out how we're getting off the ship. Who are you? Just an inner who is very far from home. With a shitload of supplies I'd much rather give to my friends in the OPA than these fucks. It's me and a group of defectors. I was heading to meet them on Ceres when I was kidnapped by these assholes. Hit me. <laughs> That should buy us another minute. What's the plan? On the bridge, there's a center console. The screen all the way on the left has a disarm command for the entire break. It needs a security override. The console is Tucson Station. You'll need to somehow move her off of there and keep her distracted long enough for the override to go through. At least I know what she's after. How far she's willing to go to get it. That's something. I heard her talking about you, after you escaped and killed her men. She was furious, but also, I think she sees something in you now, something she wants. Use it. Oh. Oh. Traitorous Pashung Walla. <sighs> you gonna kill her? Or do I get to? Nah. She gets to talk to Mon now. Gamma meal. Good for the drought. It's a habit I picked up in prison on Luna. Now I goes with the stuff. Five, six bulbs a day. When I'm not guzzling the blood of my enemies, of course. That's a joke. Hilarious. I'm sure your crew are cracking up when they're not scared shitless of you. Torrance, do my jokes crack you up? Fuck no. Your jokes is corny as fuck, boss man. That's Torrance. 
We call him Thor because no one should ever have to suffer being murdered by a guy named Thomas. So, you're all one big happy family that goes around decapitating people. Decapitating corpses. <laughs> Their owners had no use for them anymore. Inners are sentimental about many things. Corpses, property, manners. If we follow their rules, we'd never win. Our power comes from being willing to do what they are not. You should understand that better than anyone. Come in, a drummer. This is Arlan, captain of the Artemis. Our former captain, Kamina Drama, is dead. As you know, her body carries Anderson Dahl's bounty. We are leaving it for you as a token. It was Drummer and her little Martian girlfriend who decided to go after those coordinates. Baratna and I were against it. We have dealt with both of them now. Whatever you are searching for, we don't know what it is and we don't care. We are going back to Ceres, and you'll never find us in your sectors again. What do you make of that message? They're scared shitless of you. They thought they could distract you and get away with the core. But there's no way you'd waste time with me, unless you already knew you could catch them. Mainsha, how long till intercept? Three minutes, Matna. It is a remarkable story you have. Betrayed by Dawes, betrayed by Cox, betrayed by your own crew, yet you still care. Did you love her? The little Martian? Her name was Maya. And yes, I did. That love is the reason why I haven't killed you. We don't employ crew members here, we find family. Look around. Everyone here has been betrayed by someone, lied to by someone. Their parents, their captains, their governments, same for me. Now, we have purpose, and that purpose is each other. All of them would die for me as I would for them. <laughs> the belt was built on lies. The only truth out here is family. You call us virus. <laughs> it means nothing. We know who we are and what we fight for. That's how we win. But you are pirates. You murder and steal from innocent people. The UNN is innocent? Or do you mean the scavengers trying to take food from our mouths and water from our tanks? We survive against far greater and more ruthless enemies. And we don't apologize for it. If that makes us pirates, so be it. You've come to us at an opportune time. The MK Core is the culmination of everything we've been building to us. You'll see. If you keep an open mind and open heart, you wouldn't be the first on this ship to make it from the brick to the bridge. Or you can choose the airlock instead. Let's go. This might be my only shot. Toussaint. Yes. The Artemis has four functioning PDCs and a torpedo launcher. And they have one massive advantage. What's that? They can destroy you, but you can't destroy them. Not as long as they have the core. I know their weak spots. 
I know how they'll fly and how they'll fight. Of course you do. But why would you want to help us? Revenge. That crew is dead to me. I can help you disable the ship. And I'm the only person who can go in and find you the MK core. In return, you let me go. It's awfully rude of you to not even consider my offer. If it's a real offer, you'd let me consider it without a gun to my head. Come. Khan knows we're aiming to disable. She'll never let us get a clean angle on the drive thrusters. Your best bet is straight through the nose cone and out the back. Doesn't that have a high likelihood of killing your pilot? Depends who your gunner is. That used to be Yuri before you killed him. Now it's me. Forget the pilot. I'd worry more about exploding the reactor. But if you get off a clean shot, it'll be fine. I've done it plenty of times. Battle stations! Drummer, on guns! Be ready to kill her the moment I say. Yes, Mama. Torpedoes. We need to keep their PDCs occupied, unless you'd like us to get strafed. Distance. No, hold steady. I can get my shot off before we pass. If we pass, we'll be exposed to their guns. Hold speed. Torpedoes first, then take your shot. Come on, Khan. Don't miss now. Time to ready the breach pod. You're nearing the Artemis. Keep me updated as you clear each floor. Yes, Mama. Drummer, this is our first mission together. I hope it won't be our last, but if you step out of line once... Yes, I know. Bulletin head, brains splattered, so... Good luck. Which one of those is mine? Tough as iron, but big hearted. 
be, though. Let's just say... Not all those UNN soldiers were dead before their heads came off. Sasaki! Missing a leg. <laughs> Less of him to kill. Use your night boots. Crush his skull and be done with it. No, please. Drama, don't. I saved you from Arlen. Uh, I never wanted Maya to die. I need help. Virgil! Virgil, open the door! Captain, you're alive? He could be a lot worse. The Autodoc says his condition is stable, but he needs attention. Um, we should... We should check his vitals then. What's wrong? They're gonna take me away. The pirates, they'll turn me over to the UNN or the OPA. Once they take the ship, they'll- if they take the ship. We can fight them off, but we need- 
the OPA. Why would they want you? The OPA has a standing kill order for any soldier that was present on. Anderson Station. I understand your anger. Do you? You were at Anderson fucking Station! You were a soldier! in the greatest massacre in the history of the belt, and you hid it from me! Gah! Give me one reason I shouldn't leave you here to fend for yourself! You should. You need to help the rest of your crew, and I'm no use to you like this. Leave me. I don't have time for this. But I don't think I can make it through this without you either. All that matters is getting through this attack. And I need my medic for that. If you had a patient who was panicking, what would you do to help them? I'd recommend some deep breaths. Maybe brew some tea. But deep breaths to start, I suppose. What else? I'd speak softly. Use a non-judgmental tone and try to project an attitude of safety and security. I'm not going to lie to you, Virgil. We're pretty fucked right now, which is why you need to get it together. Hmm? However it appears, I promise I'm trying. Okay. What would you do next? Well, first, I'd assess the patient's fears, try to get to the heart of what's keeping them in an agitated state. You're afraid of being captured and interrogated, of revealing who you are to the OPA. Yes. Hmm. Is that all? Well, this ship is my home. I... Whatever happens to me, I suppose I'm ashamed and afraid to lose who I've become. What next? Reframing the situation. Often it helps to introduce favorable outcomes to concretize obtainable constructive So think positively. Course. In short, yes. Once we're through this, I will take you somewhere safe. Somewhere the OPA or the UNN won't be able to touch you. That's a kind thought, Captain. But I'm afraid such a place doesn't exist. Captain, thank you for your insights. I should... I should help you regroup with the rest of the crew. Just as soon as I catch my breath. You're doing great, Virgil. Just... Stay here. Yes. Yes, of course. I, I just... I just need a little time. Are you okay? <laughs> Look.
Looks like she handled it. Took you long enough. I blew my cover. They're sending another boarding party. Almost here. Ah! You're hurt. I'm ecstatic. You sent more pirates to kill. Drummer. You shouldn't have. They'll send more this time. Good thing we already have a plan for pirate attacks. Fuck yes. Don't miss your shot. Don't shoot. I surrender. Thought you could double cross us, eh, drummer? Take us to the core. Now. Of course. I know right where it's hidden. There are no secrets on board the Artemis. Ah! Eat shit! Let me see. There's no point. I just wanted to take the rest of them with me before... <clears throat> Come on. We need to get you to Virgil. Good flying with you. I'm going to kill a lot more pirates for you before this is over. I promise. Coming for you. Arlen is in the cargo bay with the MK core. Firing at the Artemis was risky, but I knew the crew could handle it. They didn't let me down. Even if I do survive the pirates and Arlen, 
I'll need to find a way off this ship before it falls apart. Came to shoot me in the back, eh, drama? It's better than a Pashangwala like you deserves. Still thinking you're better than me. That's your problem. That's why you lose. You turn your back on me and Baratna. Just like you turn your back on Dawes and the OPA. You think you're better, Lada Arlen? No, you're just another murderous thug. Shut up. That's why the OPA rejected you. They saw you for the crazy Owala you are. Enough. She was more of a belter than you'll ever be. She didn't have to die. Why? 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 Trouble with your crew, Captain. I have the MK core. Put a bullet in this bitch's head, and we can split the profit. I wonder, Kamina Drummer. Do you believe in grace? I do. It's what sustained me. In that wretched cave the Indians locked me in. It's what binds me and my crew together as family. And they swore that this moment gives me pause from killing you. When a weak or petty of us and will savor the opportunity. But Grace must be earned. Convince me your life matters. 
and I will let you live. I fight for the people of the Bell. Why? Because it's what's right. Because it's what keeps me from going big figure. My anger either pushes me or pulls me apart. Without something to fight for, I am nothing. Don't you see how we're meant to be together? Kindred spirits. Two bodies in the same orbit. Finally we meet and you want to squander it all? How much time have you wasted serving inadequate men? Or trying to fight every battle by yourself? Circumstances set us against each other. But we are not victim to circumstance. Even now, after all the blood between us, we can seize this chance to build a new future together. You want to serve the belt? With our money, we can build a fleet to fight the Inyas, put bounties on their heads, and make sure they never touch us. Our buyer will make us wealthy enough that we can build our own system if we want, and make sure we are always protected. Who is your buyer? It's a private company. There are no private companies in the belt. Is it Chapman? Royal Charter? It doesn't matter. One rich j Meng or another. They're all the same. What matters is what we do. <laughs> you think you can trust the Inners? That they will hand you money and leave you alone? You're insane. And you're a fool with no vision. Pity. Captain Drummer. Drummer, this is Julie Mao. You've held up your end of the bargain, and now I've held up mine. All the pirates on board the Europa Spain are dead. No. Yeah, look, this is an open broadcast, so I don't know if you're hearing me or who else is. But your crew is on board and I have the Artemis on target lock. If I don't receive a response from you soon, I will assume the ship has gone hostile and blow it to shit. Good luck. I'd offer you everything. And I decline. <laughs> Ready torpedoes!
Captain Drummer. Captain, are you there? I'm here. I'm on the hull. She's alive! <sighs> Stay right there. I'll be out to assist you. <laughs> You're safe now, Captain. We're all safe. Nearing Ceres Station, Captain. Are you sure we're cleared for approach? We're clear. Dawes controls the docks, and he's decided to lift the bounty on me and play nice. For now, at least. Captain Drummer. Drummer. We're almost there. Which means it's almost too late. I know. Did you at least listen to the message? No need. I know my answer. <laughs> Look, I'm heading to Ceres because that's where my contacts are. And it's where a girl with some basic wrenching skills can do a little good. What's there for you anymore? Same as you. I swear I need it. I know fuck all about the belt. But I do know the difference between a foot soldier and a leader. Just hear him out. You never know, right? Drummer, this is Fred Johnson. I believe the last time we met, you were holding a gun to my head. But what's past is past. I think you'd agree. I understand you are returning to Ceres. I am calling to offer you an alternative. I do not claim to speak for the belt. Any person who would do so is as foolish as they are dangerous. The belt is a fractious, toilsome tinderbox. A graveyard of ideals and ambition. It is also, I believe, the last great hope for humankind. The Inners have forgotten how to build. Their focus is on killing each other and controlling Belters. I know this firsthand. But Belters are builders. We forge new worlds out of rock and metal. It doesn't matter where we came from or the demons in our past. It only matters what we can contribute right now. I know that you have suffered and lost and that through it all you never forgot what you were fighting for. That is why I need you here on Tycho as my partner for a new OPA. Come speak with me. See what I am building. You have much to contribute, Drummer. Don't let it be wasted. Change coordinates. We're making a stop at Tycho Station. Of course, Captain. May I ask, what is on Tycho? Let's find out. And in politics, the Secretary General and other high-ranking UN administrators are on Luna for a security summit. We await the official briefing later tonight. 
Deputy Undersecretary Christian Avasarala has been sequestered to an undisclosed Earth location for emergency government operations. Archangel is arriving. Stand by for resume post. Ma'am, if you need anything at all, you can use So this is the Secretary General's hideaway. Not bad for a coffin. Nishan, where the fuck are you? Good morning, Madam Deputy Undersecretary. How was your trip in? You mean my descent? I'm being guarded like a fucking war prisoner. What do you think? Was it another assassination plot? Could be any damn thing. With everyone on Luna for the summit, I am suddenly the highest ranked official on the planet. Congratulations. Bullshit. I was the only one expendable enough to remain on Earth. Where is your voice coming from, anyway? I don't see a comms link. <laughs> what in the flying fuck? Uh, apologies for the dramatic reveal. I know how you dislike me pinging your terminal all day. This seemed to be a workable solution. Uh, I also took the liberty of having security bring down some of your personal items. Jesus. How long do you think I'll be down here? Okay, messages. And Admiral Krusko has sent an urgent message about a situation near Juno. And Undersecretary Mendez is still hounding you about the reorganization plan. That's all? No, there's also a message from Callisto. Are you sure? Yes, it reached your receiver about 45 minutes ago. I forwarded it to your hand terminal. Okay, go back to your dock. Let me get to work. Some fucking admiral and that Torb Mendes. That's the agenda. Christian, I hear you're working out of the bunker today. Is it as ostentatious as everyone says? Only thing missing is a chandelier. I hear you were looking for me. Ah, yes. Listen, your role as Undersecretary of Peace Operations is invaluable, of course. And yet? And yet, the Belter threat calls for greater scrutiny. It should be the work of a committee, one that I'm shocked has informed earlier. Anyway, the Security Council is planning a vote on the issue. What issue? The issue of whether to strip me off my powers and throw the belt into chaos? I know big changes can be challenging, especially when you've been in the UN for so long. But this is a move to protect our people. The belt is on the verge of collapse, and you want to appoint a bunch of people who have no experience there. Explain how that protects anyone. We'll assemble the best team we can, any transition invites some amount of instability. But, listen, maintaining peace in the belt is more than one person can accomplish. Everyone is finally acknowledging all the work you do. By taking my job? Oh, don't think of it that way. If you excuse me, I've got another call. Always a pleasure. Under Secretary Avasarala, with Fleet Admiral Hold indisposed on Luna, we've been instructed to defer to you for matters of lawful jurisdiction. At 1800 hours, the MCRN battleship Ramses II entered Juno Moon Space. We have hailed the Ramses II three times, and we are now within our rights to seize the vessel. However, I've been ordered to seek your go-ahead on all matters in the belt. 
regardless of urgency or severity. Seeing as you are a civilian administrator, I urge you to trust your military officers to make the right decisions. I eagerly await your response, but I must warn you, if we do not receive orders soon, we will be forced to engage. Admiral Krusko, out. Civilian administrator, my ass. Rasprig. This Cusco seems damn sure of himself. That makes me even less confident of his assessment. I better look into it myself before responding. here until I know what it opens. Hi mom, it's me. They lifted the comms embargo and I wanted to say hey. I haven't heard from you in a few days and well, I'm worried. You took the news about Marie badly. She's not what you think she is. She's not a terrorist. She's fighting for justice for ordinary people who were caught in the crossfire. I know you say I distract myself from what's important, but, well, this is important. She is, to me. Anyway, I love you, and I miss you. Keep me in your prayers. Talk soon. Stupid boy. This is no time for romance. Sweet child, the United Nations did not send you all the way across the solar system to get laid. We love to hear from you, but I expect updates on your health and safety, not on your damn love life. Listen to me, because I won't say it again. You must forget Marie, whoever the hell she is. You have a job to do, and your mind must be free from all distraction. Focus on your mission. And you will be back with us soon. Now, go. I'm sure there is something more important you should be doing. And be safe, my sweet boy. Make us proud. So this is where our discretionary funds have gone. To feather an underground nest. Once I've finished my work, this will serve nicely for a wind down. My father's statue. Nishan thought of everything. Dear God, what a waste of water. If only everything was as straightforward as chess. In politics, the rules are always changing. Good morning, my love. You look absolutely ravishing. It's true I cannot see you, but I've learned that it's safer to assume. If I was with you, I wouldn't be able to stop from sweeping you into my arms and carrying you away. But alas, I'm not. And we'll have to settle for your bishop. Your move, darling. My dear Arjun. Have you learned nothing? I'm always playing a different game than you expect. Ask your king what I mean. I would much rather play a very different game. Sadly, I have been locked in a bunker by some idiot bureaucrats. 
But when I return home, you should block out your schedule. I never thought I'd miss the real nation, but this little gadget creeps me out. I'm going to need everything you have on Mendez. Frankly, he's a pretty open book. Son of diplomats, top of his class at the UNS, spotless record. He may be young and shiny, but I have seen his kind before. Small dicks, big ambitions. Massive ambitions. If he's facing off against you. I have something special for you to work on. Of course. What do you need? My son is in contact with a girl on Ganymede. Marie Espero. Is she a UN official? A Martian diplomat? She's a Belter activist. Oh. I know the basics. Enough for me to wholeheartedly disapprove of her. But this girl could be using my son for his UN and access. Or trying to recruit him. I see, Madam Undersecretary. I'll make the appropriate inquiries. Tell me about that shit-eating admiral. I have his file here, but something is off. Gaps in command, sealed records. So Cusco has powerful friends who like to cover up his mistakes. <laughs> no wonder he's not afraid of me. Let me do some digging. It might be nothing, but it couldn't hurt. I may not be certain of a higher power, but sometimes it's nice to share all this shit with somebody else. You can almost believe that you're not hundreds of meters underground. Almost. The bubblehead himself. They really captured the insecure look in his eyes. I should pull up the reports on Juno and Ramses too. As if Earth weren't big enough to worry about. Cloaking their military overreach in promises of protection. A classic Martian trick. Why not? If someone offers you a favor, it's best to take advantage. The OPA should know better. This will come back on them tenfold.
10%. Why not just ask for a pony in every household? Useless posturing. If only meteors would silence some of the blowhards in the UN. We keep pushing farther and farther out. God knows why. I hope these fools realize that black markets are to be managed, not eliminated. In a perfect world, everybody gets what they need, but the belt is far from perfect. a mess. I pray Sharnapur isn't the one who has to clean it up. The belt, aka my never-ending headache. Known OPA terrorist meeting with Martian agents. This could be interesting. One can only imagine what we could have done with all that wasted Mormon money. Martians are brash, but a move like this requires serious balls. I don't like it. Why would they enter a heavily guarded demilitarized zone with a single warship? It doesn't add up. Interesting. There have been no transmissions between the Martians on Juno and the Ramses too. So it's either a rogue ship or meant to look like one. Based on the velocity, the Ramses doesn't appear to be any immediate threat to Juno. All the more reason to keep assessing and avoid making a mistake, right? Admiral Krusko. The Jupiter fleet is under your command, and I have no intention of disputing your authority. However, I have reviewed the logs for the Ramses too, and I see no direct threat to Juno Station or the Jupiter fleet. 
Whatever the Martians are doing with that ship, it remains a mystery. One I intend to solve. Am I ready to unwind? Mars, Earth, the belt. Your own damned children. It's all too much to control. Shit! Madam Deputy Undersecretary, I received a new update from the Director of Operations. Stand by. The time window for restoration of services has been extended indefinitely. Thank you. Does the Director of Operations happen to report to Undersecretary Mendez? Yes, D.O. Tanaka is a direct report. This is no accident. Mendez is trying to block me out of the vault. Forgive me, Madam Deputy, but isn't that a little paranoid? His attempt to reorganize the Security Council would leave me powerless. He will stop at nothing to make it happen. Whatever is causing it, we won't get much done without power. You underestimate me, Nissan. My electrical engineering degree wasn't just for show. Word of this gets out, I'll have your testicles as paperweights. Understood, Madam Deputy Undersecretary. Mm -hmm. I learned a few things besides networking at Kano Polytech. Let's hope I remember them. Secretary? What can I say? I live to impress you, Nishan. <laughs> we have power again, but it's limited. Any news from the outside world? The Security Council vote will proceed as planned, but you are scheduled to address the delegates first. The Ramses II is still off course near Juno, and the intervention window is closing. You've received another message from Admiral Cruzco, and you should be able to contact him again. That won't mean shit if I can't make him listen. Did you find any dirt on him? I'm afraid not. Of course, if the Secretary General weren't indisposed, he might share whatever unsealed files he might have. He's safe. I like this dark side of you, Nishan. I learned from the best, Madam Undersecretary. My darling, while I would gladly carve up my schedule for you, it sounds like you might not be home anytime soon. I'm not surprised that foolish men think that they can control you, and I pity them greatly. I just heard from Shanapal. All things considered, he's faring well. I credit your fighting spirit, which I trust won't be too wounded by the loss of this bomb. Hmm? Faring well? Have you heard what your son is doing on Callisto? I 
I must admit, of all the disasters I'm dealing with, it is our son that worries me most. All the time we spent raising him, and what does he do? Falls in love on a rock in the middle of space. Talk to him, Arjun. If you can change his mind, no one can. Hi, Mom. It's me again. Two messages in one day. Must be a new record, right? So, we're gearing up for a mission. I don't know where yet. I never do. But I wanted to reach out. I don't care what you say. I'm not breaking things off with Marie. I... It's my decision. Just because you think you control the system doesn't mean you control me. Remember when you forced me to enlist and I didn't talk to you for six months? I don't want this to be like that. Call me back when you get a chance. I'd love to hear from you before we deploy. Sweet boy, you must stay safe and return to us soon. You have an important job to do, and I trust you to do it well. However, this is no time for sentimentality. All soldiers feel strongly on the eve of battle. Which is why it's the worst fucking time to make decisions. Push this Marie out of your head and focus on what matters. You know what to do. I love you desperately. And I pray I will see your face again soon. Semper Fi, my sweet boy. Christian, I was just about to call you. The Council has set the date for the reorganization vote. It's today, in full assembly. And I don't suppose you'd consider a postponement for the Council member who's working from a hole in the ground. Oh, believe me, I asked, begged even. But there's too much momentum. You're looking at this all wrong. Vote against this motion with me. And we can secure the belt without all the red tape of a committee. While I'd never bet against your persuasive talents, I have a meeting to run to. I'll just have to go with my gut on this vote. Jeffrey, I like you. You're ambitious. And you have balls. That's why I'm telling you to cancel the vote. You don't want to go up against me. Christian, you are an inspiration. I've looked up to you for, well, my whole career. But this motion is moving forward, and last I counted, you were three votes short. I've populated your screen with five delegates whose votes may be winnable. You should call them and see where they stand. Very good. This is Deputy Governor Dunning. Natalie is Christian. I should have known. How are you, my friend? And what about your husband and those delightful children? Chris, if I thought you gave a shit about my family, we'd both be in a different line of work. Now, what do you need? It's the Security Council vote. Can I count on you to reject the reorganization under Mendes? I like you, Chris. But not enough for charity. Meaning? 
Shepard Complex has a faulty filtration system, and it needs updating. But the funds are never there. See that Shepard gets its new water tower, and I'll support you. I'll see what I can do. You're Christian Abasarala. I expect a lot more than that. Well, this is a surprise. To what do I owe the honor? This is about the vote to reorganize the Security Council. Ah, I see. Well, Jeffrey Mendez is a spiteful worm, and any motion he champions is certainly one I will vote against. So, I have your support? If you make me one promise. I will do whatever it takes. I give you my word. Ah, be careful, Madam Undersecretary. That's a dangerous thing to say in our line of work. For some, but not for me. As of now, I will vote with you against the reorganization. However, whatever happens in negotiations, you cannot raise taxes. If you plan a tax hike of any kind, you will be calling Mendez Sir before the week is out. Do you understand? A more powerful Jeffrey Mendez is something nobody wants. True, but power abhors a vacuum. If Mendez is stopped, who will step in to take his place? You? I understand the situation. And I will make this work. I appreciate the call, Madam Undersecretary. Good luck. Avasarala. Okoro. I've heard that you're undecided on the security reorganization. Only because I knew you'd show up here eventually. I know we've had our disagreements in the past, but your support in this vote is crucial. How crucial? Enough for me to be here kissing your ass, when I should be in New York getting a manicure. So I can give you the vote, but I'll need something in return. Don't keep me in suspense. We're getting a lot of flack from the wealthier tiers of the Earth admin zones. Too many private regulations over spaceport licensing. You're joking. They want the UN Accountability Office to deregulate private spaceports. And they're fine with higher taxes, if that's what gets it done. Very well. I will get back to you. I'm sure you will. But only when your back's against the wall. Does she think I do this to make friends? For real? Christian Abasarala. It's been a long time. Elena, it's been a few years. Years? Come on. You remember the last time we saw each other. Of course. That was a wonderful day we had together. At the ambassador's funeral? Fuck. It had its moments, I guess, but wonderful. You've always been a funny one, Christian. Listen, I need a favor. Let me guess. Mend a security plan? How did you know? Singh warned me you'd be calling. But I understand why you're concerned. Any idiot can see what Mendez is trying to pull. Can I count on you? You may. But only if the proposed water tower in Shepherd Complex never moves forward. Oh? You're not a supporter of the project? I'm not a supporter of handing Dunning another fucking victory to pad her resume for committee assignments. I see. I knew you would. Gotta run. Good luck today, Christian. What can I do for you, Madam Undersecretary? I'm coming to you for help with the Security Council's reorganization proposal. Oh, that? I'm afraid the Belt's security status doesn't affect the People's Party's platform. Not directly, anyway. Then I would like to ask for your vote. And incur the wrath of Jeffrey Mendez? I don't know how I feel about that. 
Mendes is not the one you should be afraid of, Mr. Weiss. I'm not sure I appreciate that implication, Madam Undersecretary. It's simply a reminder that the People's Party has friends in the UN, and you wouldn't want to jeopardize that friendship. Listen, I want to help, but I have my own issue that I could use your support with. Naturally. The private spaceports of the wealthy are draining resources and crowding public lands. Now some delegates are attempting to remove the limited regulatory oversight we have. Spaceport regulations? That's your issue? That, and raising taxes, of course. The people have spoken. Very well. Thank you for your time, Mr. Weiss. Anytime. We appreciate your support. I've captured the findings from your conversations with the delegates. You can review and prepare your policy decisions when ready. Very good. I'll meet you at your station. What's the point of sitting in for the Secretary General if I don't get to break into his safe? Need to find the key. Knowing the Secretary General, He's hidden somewhere that makes him feel clever. Go back to your base and face the wall. It's called plausible deniability, for fuck's sake. Deniability of what? Good drone. It's almost optimistic to think we could fuck up this planet more than we already have. If we were wasting our time planning for alien contact, at least we are being honest about it. Let's figure out which policies I support to get the vote locked in. I have the summary for you to review. Deregulation is a hot button issue. Perhaps you'd receive more support by changing your vote. Nissan, I'm beginning to harbor violent fantasies against this drone of yours. Let's give Earth rich idiots even less oversight. Yes on deregulation. Understood. Singh is a single issue voter, and no new taxes. Got it. I need Masterson's vote, and she's not wrong about the water tower. It will have to wait. Sounds good. Let me double check these tallies. Congratulations, Madam Deputy. This should secure you the votes. I'll send along your policy commitments to the five delegates. <sighs> Thank fuck. Of course, none of that will matter if I'm not there to cast a deciding vote. I've requested a postponement to the session. In lieu of that, you can always connect it remotely, now that the power's restored. I'm not banking on it. Keep pressing them. Secretary, this is Admiral Kruzko. 
I'm afraid the situation near Juno has reached its inflection point. The Martians are now openly flouting system law, and this act cannot go unanswered. I understand your desire for caution in your temporary position. But that is no excuse for indecision. No orders have been issued, but I cannot guarantee the obedience of my captains. They understand that lives are at stake, and they are only human. I implore you to transmit orders as soon as possible. Krusko, signing off. This asshole won't respect me unless I make him. Admiral Krusko, here are your orders. You will remain in place. You will not intercept the MCR in Ramses II. Understand, this is not a request, and I owe you no explanation. I've also been reviewing your sealed personal file. It reads like a fucking tabloid. Sex, nepotism, cover-ups. It would only take one word for me to have it unsealed and all over the news tonight. I will await your confirmation of these orders. Am I ready for a break, or is there more to do? Madam Undersecretary, full power has been restored to the compound. That's the good news. But the Security Council still hasn't responded to our request to postpone the vote. No matter. So long as the trains are running, I will be there to see the look on Manda's face when I end this farce. <laughs> Very good. I'll prepare for your imminent arrival. When you're ready. Security breach. Security what breach. What now? Security breach. Lockdown protocol, Archangel. Move! 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 Who the fuck this is? Who the fuck else locked me in this prison? It was for your own safety. There's been a security breach in the compound, ma'am. Stop calling me that, you hick. I am deputy undersecretary in the United Nations, not your country grandmother. Yes, deputy undersecretary. I'm sorry. We're conducting our sweep now, and we will have the site secure as soon as possible. I can't wait for soon. The vote is happening now. That's the whole point of all this. Sharp, this is your last chance. Obey my orders and let me out of here now, or deal with the consequences. I'm so sorry, ma'am. The consequences are immaterial. I have my orders, and must see them through. Yes, yes, motherfucking soldier you are. Dismissed, Private. You'll never know when you'll need to light some incense, or the occasional contraband cigarette. This might come in handy. Just keep me from setting myself on fucking fire.
give me the self-control not to murder that fucking admiral or anyone else who gets in my way today. Forget about me. Just protect my son. At least my prison can smell nice. I guess it wouldn't be a safe room without a smoke alarm. There's a smoke, there's fire alarm. Come on. Fuck me, it's real? Nisha. Nisha. My hero. My savior. My... What's wrong with your screen? Poor reception. Reinforced walls. I can't get back to the bunk from in here. What the fuck is your plan then? Uh, I don't know. I'm so sorry. Don't apologize. Just blow. Blow! Deputy Undersecretary. Enjoy the R and R, Private. You've earned it. Ma'am, let me out. Nishan? Linking you into the session now. If that's all the arguments, we will convene the vote. All those in favor. Excuse me, counselors. I have the deputy undersecretary. Madam, whenever you're ready. Counselors, I apologize for my tardiness. I have been enjoying the Secretary General's underground hospitality today. We all want to increase security in the belt. But this vote will not accomplish it. The measure is... A political maneuver. Undersecretary Mendes has no experience in the belt. And putting him in charge is a dangerous overreach. Counselors, my son is stationed on Callisto. No one wants to de-escalate tensions in the belt more than me. But this motion will only lead to more chaos. Thank you, Madam Avasarala. We'll convene the vote then. All those in favor? All opposed? The motion has failed 67 to 66. Security in the belt will remain under the jurisdiction of the Deputy Undersecretary. Thank you, everyone. Meeting adjourned. One last thing, Secretary. I would like to put on the record my personal commendation of one private sharp. For remaining steadfast to his post in the face of tremendous obstinacy by yours truly. He is an exemplary soldier and I see a bright future for him after today. Your commendation has been added to the record. Meeting adjourned. The security protocols are lifted. Ma'am, I don't know what to say. Thank God. Now, get the hell out of my office. Ma'am, 
Yes, ma'am. Your office? I rather like the sound of that. My dear, don't worry about Shanaba. He has found a woman who sees what a wonderful man he is. The rest will sort itself out. But it's not just our headstrong son. I can hear it in your voice. The weight of the world is on your shoulders. What else is troubling you? <sighs> Atlas had it easy. He only had one planet to worry about. Nothing is troubling me. I just fended off an attack from a power-hungry underling that would have destabilized everything I have worked to build. <sighs> just another day at the office. I tell you the rest of it, dinner. As soon as I check in on Admiral Krusko, I can get out of this box. I could clean this up, but that would eliminate any chance of the Secretary General sleeping on it and landing on his face. Madam Avasarala, I've received your message. I don't appreciate the regrettable moments of my past entering the conversation. And I urge you to remember that enemies can be made on both sides of the line. We have not engaged with the Ramses too, and I've just received word that they are beginning to course correct. I am not at all convinced that we've done the right thing. And I will be saying as much in my incident report. We have avoided an outright conflict today, but the MCRN saw us flinch. I can only hope it won't lead to further provocation. Cusco out. Admiral Cusco, thank you for sharing the good news. I know you didn't agree with my orders, and your loyalty in the face of adversity will be remembered. The MCRN won't be so bold as to escalate after we saw through their ruse. This was a victory, Admiral. Try to enjoy it. We get them so rarely. Jeffrey, what an exciting vote that was. Indeed. How wonderful that you were able to make it after all. I've been meaning to tell you, an ambassador position has just opened up on one of Neptune's moons. It occurs to me that someone with your ambition would be a perfect candidate. You wouldn't actually create a brand new ambassador position just to send me to the ass end of the solar system? You seriously underestimate how petty I can be. Enjoy the trip. I hear Titan is lovely this time of year. Now, wait just a minute! Madam Undersecretary? Yes, Nathan. You know, I 
I feel strangely sentimental about you in this room. I worry that you in the flesh again may be something of a letdown. Madam, it's news from Callisto, and it's not good. Show me. Although all reports have yet to be verified, it has been confirmed that a significant, violent uprising has occurred on the shared MCR UN moon station of Callisto. In what the UN is calling the Callisto Insurrection, Martian-backed laborers in the shipyards of Callisto turned on UN peacekeepers in what is believed to have been a coordinated attack. My god. While tensions have been mounting in the region for some days, the exact purpose of the attacks and any possible coordination with Mars remain unknown. The Martian Congressional Republic has yet to issue a statement. And just in. We have learned that UN Marines are being deployed and are being met with fierce resistance at the station. We are also told that some military officials now believe that a portion of the uprisers may be OPA operatives posing as shipyard workers. It's a message from your son. Listen, I haven't heard back from you yet can't talk long, but I didn't want to go into a mission the way we left things. Madam Undersecretary. I want to thank you for believing in me. I know we don't always agree, but I'm still grateful for your support and even your advice. Sometimes. Christian, they released the official list of casualties. I didn't want to enlist, but maybe you were right to twist my arm. I've learned a lot out here. I even met someone really special. So, thank you. I love you, Mom. I'll call you again soon. You don't know me. My name is Christian Abasarala. I'm Sharnapo's mother. And you must be Marie. <laughs> <laughs> 